first thing we need to do in an assembly is to import the existing parts. You can right click on the product, go down to components, existing component, a file browser will appear and you can select the parts that need to be imported. For the canard we'll select uh, things, we got the center ribs in the first one, so everything, all the canard parts, select, control select them, and press open. I'm going to hide uh, the skin and work with the, the center rib to start. Now we're going to insert, um, go to define multi instances to insert um, copies of this rib. We need multiple instances. And we'll, we'll create two new instances as you can see where they would go. And we'll put them in, in you need to displace them in the Y direction from the original instance. Press OK. And then select the Manipulate tool and the X direction so we can move the spar back to its approximate location based on the drawing. Get a better view. What's going on here? So you can see the ribs. We'll hide that for now. And all but the original center rib, bring back the spar, and now we'll constrain the rib to the spar using a coincidence constraint, but first we want to fix the spar and location, so select the anchor and then the spar. Now we'll go to coincidence constraint. You want to get the center axes of the hole in the rib, and the best way to do that is click on the inner surface of, of the circle. We'll just select the spar axis first, just like that. You'll see the coincidence symbols appear. And press the update button and it'll move it into position. Now you can see it aligns well with the picture. So we'll bring back um, some of the other canard ribs. Um, this one, new one, um, was in the same Y location as the previous, so we'll drag the compass over to it. You want to get it on a in there. Now we can drag it in the Y direction just to get it away from the center for now. We can put it in a more appropriate position later. constrain the axes again with the coincidence constraint and now we'll select the manipulate tool and the y direction and align it with the drawing. Okay. Another way to do that would be to use the offset constraint and you could set the distance according to the drawing using offset constraint between the two ribs. And you would want to fix the center rib if you were to do that. So now we're going to copy um, the ribs and paste them into the product. So you can select the ribs to copy and then right click on the product level, click paste, and they'll appear. This is another way of creating new instances of the same part, which we will put on the other half of the wing, again manipulate with the Y in the Y direction using the manipulate tool. 
and I want to get the numbers in order as they go out, so I'll rearrange those. And now we will have to create coincidence constraints for the remainder of the ribs to the spar. Again, to get them to snap back, press the update button, which looks like a, a hurricane type symbol on the bottom. Now we'll add the, the skin back, and there is an, a line created that will run with the spar originally. So we'll create a coincidence constraint between the spar, which is fixed, and this, uh, this line running through the, the skin, which will snap it to the correct X coordinate and Z coordinate, and then we will manipulate it to slide it along the appropriate Y coordinate. You could also offset the plane to the center rib if you knew the distance, which we do, um, in order to get it to be exactly aligned correctly. There we have the assembled canard.